Hi, this is Robert with Windrider. We've had some people ask us questions of how to take care and wash uh, their fall weather gear. With any of this gear, best just to kind of rinse it after use. Uh, this is especially true if you're using it in salt water. Probably not applicable to our ice fishing gear, but uh, with our fall weather gear, if you're using it in salt water, you, you definitely want to rinse it with fresh water after use uh, and then just kind of hang it to dry. However, you know, at, at some point you've gotten too much blood or fish guts and slime all over it, uh, and then you might want to throw it in the wash. If you're going to throw it in the wash, here's what you need to know. Um, first things first, what you'll want to use is not just your normal Tide. You'll want to use a specially designed product, uh, basically they're called non-biologic detergent. This is Tech Wash. This is typically what I use. It's designed especially for rain gear. Um, you know, our rain gear has what's called a DWR. It is a coating that allows the water to beat up and roll off. So with our rain gear, our ice fishing gear, there's a coating on it that causes the water to kind of form beads and run off and not soak into the material. And while it still will be waterproof, it might start to feel a little more clammy because the breathability is no longer there. So it's, it's you know, gonna retain all the moisture uh, from sweat and perspiration. Um, so something like the Tech Wash will help keep that, uh, that DWR coating on there. So at that time, you want to make sure um, you're either washing it with a Tech Wash or there's also another product that's called the Wash In that reapplies that DWR coating. So it's that DWR coating that kind of helps make sure that it stays both waterproof and breathable uh, by causing the water to just roll off of it. If you're going to throw it in the wash, the regular normal cycle, warm water, you don't want to go hot. So just warm water, either cold or warm, either is fine. It's best not to put it in the dryer, uh, just to hang dry. Um, you know, if you absolutely have to dry it because you're gonna need it later that day or whatever it may be, uh, you definitely wanna do tumble dry low, no heat. The heat's just gonna damage the fibers and just make it not last as long. So we recommend that in general, and this is uh, applicable both to our fall weather gear, basically kind of any of our products that keep you dry from the rain or the snow, um, is you wanna just hang dry. Take care of your gear so it takes care of you.